Hey, Barbara Boss here. So today we're going to talk about Etsy success. What is needed to really make a successful Etsy store and to get those sales coming in? So today we're going to talk about making some sick sales online, curating your customer's experience so they return a bunch, and building a legit business by bringing tons of new customers. So as an entrepreneur, you don't just sit around waiting for customers to come to you. You go out and get them. And we're going to talk about how to do that. But first of all, I want to tell you a little bit about my philosophy. Simpler is better. A minimal approach to more sales is the way to do it. Some people create these really like extensive, complicated sales funnels, or they have, you know, dance on TikTok three times a day. If that works for you, great. It doesn't work for me, but I can find, I can tell you what does. So we're going to go into a simple, minimalistic way of helping you build some sales. First of all, our agenda on this little quick training is going to be number one, Etsy success. What makes a successful Etsy shop? Number two, two, three, and four is a clue. Return customers, how to bring them in, get other people sharing, use your customers to build a little bit of hype, and number four, new customers, how to bring customers to your shop. So first of all, chase the vision, not the money. The money and will end up following you. I love that saying. Anyway, number one, Etsy success. What makes a successful shop compared to an unsuccessful shop? Why do most Etsy shops shut down? Because they aren't getting any sales. So let's talk about that. Number one, traffic. I mean, really, this is not number one. This is number one, 20, 10, 100, the whole thing, traffic. This is the most important thing. The more people that see your product, the more people that will buy your product. So we're talking new traffic from Etsy, but we're not going to wait around on just that. We're going to talk about new traffic from other platforms. And then of course, getting those return customers that already have bought our product and trust us. So first of all, ah, I went too far. Sorry. Etsy traffic. The cool thing about Etsy is that it has an incredible customer base. They handle checkout. That's what makes it so easy. You can create your fun, adorable product, post it on there. They already have the capability to collect a credit card and help you print a shipping label, right? It makes it super easy. The downside is getting to their front page. You know, usually if you're a new Etsy shop, you're on page 15 if anyone searches your kind of product. Um, the other problem is that whatever page you are on, all of your competitors are around you on the same page. So when someone sees a search result, they see you and all of your competitors. And you don't want to get into like a low price bidding. It's kind of hard when you have a or a competitor right next to you, maybe offering something very similar for a little less expensive, right? Promoting can cost more than the product you're selling. This is a problem I had with one of my profiles the promoting of the pins cost me more than the profit I was making on the product that I was selling. So those are a few downsides of Etsy and that's why we've got to have a way to get people to our store without just counting on Etsy. Social media is one way, right? This is like the old fashioned people sitting around a table visiting saying, hey, I found this cool product and I think all of you should give it a try. That's kind of what social media is now. If somebody posts your product, it's kind of like telling all the people at their table or their followers that, hey, this is, this is a decent product. You want it. You want to buy it. Pinterest. I can't talk enough about this, and I'm going to talk about it more in a minute, but it's a visual search engine. You definitely want to be on Pinterest. So agenda item number two, let's get into this. Let's first talk about return customers, how to get them easy pleasy. Okay, the number one way of getting return customers is to get them on your email list. You might not have an email list yet. We can get you one set up with a landing page that people can go to and put in their email address. This is the very best way to remarket and retarget customers. People who have already bought from you are considered a warm audience. People who first visit your store, cold audience. They don't know if they trust your product. They don't know how well they're going to like what they get from you or how well you will really deliver it to them. 
Once you've already done that for someone, there's a level of trust there. They know they like your stuff. They maybe liked the interaction with you and the service, the product itself. So they're a warm audience. So it's very important that you get them on your email list. And that way, every time you launch a new product, you can blast it out to everyone and say, hey, I just launched a new product, check it out, or here's a 10% discount on it. You can also send out monthly or weekly emails reminding people to come back and visit the shop, or maybe that you're running a promotion. It's very effective. Having an email list has been the most profitable way for us to get people back and buying our products again on all of our profiles. We got to do this. We got to get them on the email and here's some ways to do it. So you can use cards or product tags. When you ship the product out, you can put a little tiny card in there that says handmade by and you sign it or a thank you card that says thank you for your purchase and then at the bottom you can invite them to join your email list for a discount say you know at the bottom you can say get 10 percent off your next product by joining our email or offer a discount or offer them a freebie like a digital download if they join your email that's another thing i can show you how to do you want to offer an incentive to get them to actually click over. A lot of the email service providers also will make little QR codes that you can print on cards so that all they have to do is scan them. But definitely put them on anything you ship out. Have a card in there reminding them to join your email list and give them a little incentive. Now be careful with Etsy because you cannot use their messaging to market. You can only use it for transactional emails and this is one way we're going to talk about doing that to get people onto your email without upsetting Etsy. So you can actually put an email link right on your shop. So I'm actually going to show you where to go and how to do this. If you're on your dashboard, just go down to settings and then go to info and appearance, scroll down and down here on shop announcement, you can go and put a little message, message that says, be sure to sign up for my discount emails at and give them the uh, website to do that. You can also do it down here on the message to buyers that happens after they purchase an order. This pops up. Be sure to sign up for future sales and discount emails and put an email address there. That is one option. The next thing you can do is put an email link or a discount code in your thank you email that goes out to them. Um, you, it has to be transactional, so thank them or let them know when their order is coming. And then at the bottom you can say join my email and get a discount. The next way is a discount with the first purchase. Okay, you're saying, well, how to do that? They haven't purchased from me yet. You can actually put it right on your listing. You can say, um, this product has a discount offer. Visit girlcreateit.com to join my email and as a thank you get 20% off this product. It's super easy to automate this too uh, with your email setup. Whatever email service you end up using, they will. you can set it to automatically kick out an email the very second someone signs up for your email so that it will go straight out and you just have the discount coupon on it and make sure it's a discount that doesn't expire. This one is surprisingly effective. You can offer them a 20% refund when they bought the product without a discount by getting them on your email list and here's how you do it. So Etsy only allows you to message them if it's transactional, meaning about their transaction. So you send out an, a message to them saying, hey, I noticed that you brought, bought my product just to let you know it'll probably ship out in about two days, something about the transaction, and then say, by the way, I noticed that you bought this without the discount that we have going. We have a discount if you join our email, you get 20% off. I'm happy to refund you that 20% if you want to hop over and join our email. And then every time somebody joins the email, then you go back and just issue a little 20% refund to them and they feel overserved, loved, you got their email address. It's perfect because then you can in the future let them know when you have cool things to offer that you think they might like. Okay, so let's sum it up. Here's ways to get people onto your email list. A card insert or a product tag. Right at the bottom you can give either a little QR code or a URL saying go here to sign up for my email. You'll immediately get a 20% off coupon. Email, an email link on the shop info. You can add, now 
always read Etsy's policies because they may change after I create this. But as of now, uh, email link on shop info. You can add an email sign up link to a thank you email. You can add it right to the product listing with the discount or offer a discount refund if they sign up after. All very effective ways. Now let's talk about number three, getting others sharing. All you gotta do is ask for them to tag you, okay? On that card, the handmade buy card or the thank you card, you can also put a little thing on back that says, hey, share on Instagram and tag me to enter my monthly giveaway. And once a month you can hop on, look at all the people who tagged you on Insta, put their name in a bowl, draw one out, message them and say, hey, I noticed you tagged me, you won the giveaway this month, you get a free, and it can it can just be like a digital product, maybe a little ebook that you make or a how-to PDF. It doesn't have to cost you money or it could just be an inexpensive product that you actually mail them directly. You can also do it on other platforms, just find a way to get them to tag you on it, mention you in their post on Facebook or something so that other people start seeing you because they will click over and check that out. Other, other platforms don't have great click over rates, meaning clicking from the platform to your product page. And Insta, you can't even do it to your product, you just do it to your website and then they have to search around and find the product. So they aren't that effective at getting sales made, but it builds hype, it gets people to know you, and then people will start coming over and following you. So you definitely want to get a little hype going on social because it's kind of the way of doing things now. Our email responder is an email that automatically goes out. So with your email service provider that you're going to set up, if you haven't, you can tell them to say, send an email, send an email two weeks after someone, somebody has joined me, you know, they'll have your product by then. And you can say, hey, take a picture of the product and tag me on Insta to enter a monthly giveaway or share with us. And I'm going to show you, this is actually kind of cool. So my husband has a profile where he sells men's hankies, like really burly ones for like mountain men. And these guys love pocket knives. So they love posting pictures of pocket knives on their hanks, they're called instead of handkerchiefs. And so let's click over here to see, look at all of these different people that on their profile, they took a picture of their stuff on it and tagged my husband just because he asks in the card that he sends out. And every one of these people have mentioned him and it gets him more traffic, so it's worth it. So let's sum it up, how to get a little talk going on social about you and people mentioning you. Add a sharing message to a tag or a card. Add a sharing message to a post sell email that goes out from your email responder and add incentive to tag you. Now remember, don't send anything out with Etsy message other than a transactional one with maybe a PS, you didn't join my email, go do it. They have to willingly opt in to your email list somewhere else and then you can send out the emails to them. So number four, this is really like one of the biggest ones, new customers. You will not be a successful shop if you do not bring in new customers every single day. You've got to get traffic and visitors to your shop. The more you get, the more sales you make. So what's been my best way every time that I've had a different shop or even my WordPress blog, my best way of getting people where I want them to be, yep, as you're probably already reading, is Pinterest. Pinterest every time. And just in case you think there's a better way, Pinterest, yes, Pinterest. And Mr. McPinterest Pants. And Miss Penny Penny Pants, okay? You're getting my subtle hints here that Pinterest is the best way that I've ever, ever, ever gotten traffic to something. Why? Pinterest is a search engine. So did you know that Pinterest is a visual search engine? You probably do. And here's how that benefits you. It's actually not considered a social media. You don't have to post what you're eating that day. You don't have to post what you're doing that day. This is a visual search engine where people go to look for something. So they're like Google, 
but much more visual. There's not as much competition as there is on Google results, and you can gain popularity with their algorithm way easier than you can with Google. And they will show your stuff to previous visitors of your pins and profiles. Google doesn't necessarily do that. So if someone clicks through one of your pins and visits your site or even your profile, now they're a warm audience to Pinterest and they'll show your stuff to them again, even if they didn't follow your profile. And that is really cool for a visual search engine. And then the other cool thing about Pinterest is you can use others' audiences. You can get uh, on group boards where when you post something, other people's followers and audiences will see yours. And that is something that you can't do on Google. Pinterest is definitely the way. Also, some little facts here for those of you who like data. Millennials buy on Pinterest. Now, why is this important? First of all, 86% use Pinterest to plan life moments, big and small. They're going to buy something, right? They're on there to look for something to satisfy their need. If they're on Facebook, they're scrolling to see what their friends are doing. If they're on Insta, Insta they're looking to see what their friends are doing. If they're on TikTok, they're there to be entertained. Your product popping up in front of one of those activities does not always get clicked on well. But here on Pinterest, they're actually on there to solve a problem, find a solution, or find a product. And 63% say that Pinterest helps them discover new brands or products to buy. And 50% have an annual household income of over 75,000. So millennials are great customers, and they are on there. There's 36 million millennial users, according to Pinterest's report. Here's the website if you want to go read this report. Okay, 80% of moms are on Pinterest, according to surveys that they have taken. Why are moms good? Okay, moms buy everything, right? They buy stuff for themselves. They buy stuff for their kids. They buy gifts for their friends. They buy gifts for their husbands. They buy gifts for their husband's coworkers. They buy stuff at Christmas. They buy stuff at Easter. Moms are shoppers on Pinterest. And one of the cool things is that there are two billion searches every month searching for something. And the best part about that is 97% of users that were surveyed said that they were doing an unbranded search. If they already know what brand they're looking for, they hop on Amazon and buy it, right? So when they go to Pinterest, they're looking for something more creative, and 90% of Pinterest searches are searching without a brand in mind, which means they can find your brand, which means they are open to things that are not name brand. They're looking for quaint, cute, something that they can't buy at Walmart or on Amazon. The other reason that Pinterest rocks is because if someone follows your pin, if they come find your pin on Pinterest and they click over, you get to choose where on your website they end up. They can click over directly to a product page where they can add to cart and purchase. Like I said with Pinterest or with Insta, sorry, that isn't the case. Instagram, they have to click over to your profile first and then f go to your main website and then try to find the product. And with Pinterest, it's awesome. They can just click the pin if you put the URL to the product page in instead of the URL to your main store, then they'll go straight to that product page and be able to find that product immediately and buy it. Makes it super simple, right? Another reason I love Pinterest is because I don't even focus on how many followers I have. I do not run campaigns to get followers. We advertise on Facebook between four and $800 a month just to keep a presence there on my Solve Learning Disabilities profile. But on Pinterest, we do not do paid. And look how many visitors, how many views I get. Over half a million on, Solve Learning, on my Solve Learning Disabilities profile. And people click over and buy our courses and products there. And we do not buy advertising there. That is free just from pinning pins. People click over and see our store and our website. So Pinterest is a total powerhouse of driving customers to you. Huge, okay? And people are probably on Pinterest right now looking for what you offer. Or if you're just starting your shop, what you're going to offer. There's probably already plenty of people on there looking for it, okay? And check out my Pinterest Like a Boss course. It's only going to be $2.97 for the next couple days because I shot you an email for 200 bucks off. 
it's good for a couple days. And it has everything from how to use Pinterest for beginners, clear down to how to run complicated ad campaigns, how to get your pins seen, followed, clicked over to your website, and how to use other people's audiences if you don't have a lot of followers yet. So check that out. And I don't want you to feel like it's a financial risk. And so we have a 30 day money back guarantee, no questions asked, you just shoot me an email and I send you a refund if you aren't completely crazy about the course. And thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, send them to barb at girlcreate.com and I'd be happy to answer those for you. All right, cheers. <laughs>